Good afternoon, and welcome to the Wednesday afternoon conference call with Trusts Unlimited. This is Jim George speaking. I'm the non-attorney spokesman and facilitator for Trusts Unlimited, and I'd like to thank all of you for taking the time to listen to this call, particularly those of you calling in for the first time and those that will be listening to the replay over the next 24 to 48 hours. We like to move quickly through these calls, bottom line the information for you. Our standard format is to spend a few minutes talking about the situation evolving in Iraq as we continue to believe that the Iraqi dinar is the base currency for the potential reset of some of these other prevalued currencies. A few minutes talking about the program we put in place to assist you, and then we go to a brief Q&A. Once again, we're going to be having a very short call this week. Uh, we have been literally inundated with requests for new trusts as well as some last-minute service requests from our, at this point, very large client base that have been uh, establishing trusts over the last decade. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is provide for you the information that we think is relevant. We will certainly not turn anyone away who would contact us to establish a trust but as I've said before, on a week-to-week -week basis, we will decide whether or not we're going to actually market to trust a package. And given the, uh, the level of work uh, before us, uh, we're going to dispense from that this week. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the situation in Iraq because good things are happening. First, by way of disclaimer, Trusts Unlimited is not the purveyor of the dinar and these other prevalued currencies. We're not advocating either the sale or purchase of these currencies, but as rather substantial currency holders ourselves, we want to share with you the information we think is relevant. And of course, the most relevant piece of information would be the window for the potential reset uh, of the dinar and these other currencies. Now, I know that the uh, guru world is apoplectic right now. They are saying that it's going to happen any second. Um, given their track record over the last decade, I wouldn't put too much faith in that, although at this point that is possible, and I'll get into the reasons for that in a moment. But I like to look at it much more pragmatically. What is good timing for the revaluation for us as holders of the dinar and these other currencies and as individuals who have established a trust to protect this newfound wealth? I'm still looking at that window from July through to August 15th, certainly the dinar could revalue at any time. And again, I'll get into the reasons for that. But anything on or before August 15th works very well for us with regard to the timing for the exchange and the potential tax implications of the profit from this exchange. Now, as I said, there's a lot going on in Iraq. The CBI, the Parliamentary Financial Committee, and the Prime Minister Kazemi have been in closed meetings of late, and we're getting indications that the project to delete to zeros has been fully implemented, although that's not been officially released, so that's good news. We also know that the precipitous increase in the price of a barrel of oil now has the Iraqi 2021 budget in surplus. That's another very good omen. We know that the IMF and the other global agencies all pollution of the dinar and perhaps some of these other currencies. Now, that's good news for us short term, but the IMF and these other agencies have another agenda. Their long-term agenda is the creation of a one-world digital currency, which is actually a nightmare. To accomplish that, one of the intermediary steps is to depeg these prevalued currencies with the U.S. dollar and to repeg them with the IMF basket of currencies. So that's uh, their underlying agenda. So it'll be important for us, once we go to the banks to do our exchange, to convert as much of that USD to other tangible assets, not only because the substantial increase in uh, the money supply globally is going to reduce the purchasing power of money, but because these other tangible assets should appreciate substantially in reaction to that. Now, as I've said several times, or as I've said over the last several weeks, at this point, the only thing holding up the reinstitution and revaluation of the dinar and some of these other currencies 
are the corrupt individuals that are trying to stop it for their own selfish reasons. Some of these reasons are just good old-fashioned greed. They're making money off of the, uh, the corruption in Iraq and some of these other countries. Some of it's political. They do not want to see a substantial increase in wealthy, self-sufficient individuals because the, the global community is going in an entirely different direction. We also know that the Iranian-backed militias are trying to destabilize the situation in Iraq. I don't think any of these people are going to succeed at what they're attempting, but in my opinion, that's the only thing at this point that I see on the horizon that's going to stop the reinstitution of the dinar. I'm going to close out here. As I said, this is a short call. This, to me, uh, says everything. There was a statement recently released by the CBI, and I quote, the mechanisms for monetary reform are in place. Our currency will be going to a float. So that statement right there, if we're to take them at their word, means they're basically saying, I'll give you the shorter version, we're going to reinstitute our currency as soon as possible. Everything is in place. So this is all very good news for us. This is also another reason why we've been inundated with trust requests and all kinds of last-minute changes to these trusts. For those of you calling in for the first time, I would strongly suggest you go to our call of June 2nd of this year. It will give you a detailed explanation of our turnkey program, and there's a nice informative uh, Q&A on that call as well. I will give you our contact information. If you want to learn a little bit more about Trusts Unlimited, you can go to our website, which is Trust with an S unlimitedllc.com. Our email address is trusts with an S, unlimitedllc at gmail.com. Our phone service is 307-274-4122. If you'd like to listen to a recent conference call playback, particularly once again the call of June 2nd, you can either go to YouTube go to Trusts Unlimited and go to that call, or you can go to IQD calls, go to Trusts Unlimited for that call, or you can simply dial the same number that you dialed for this live call this afternoon with the exception of the last number. Rather than dialing a four, you'll dial a three and then use the same access code, which is 739-394-POUND. If you'd like to be included on our email list, you can go to our website, Go to the bottom, enter your name and email address where indicated. You should be in our email list within 24 hours. Bear in mind that we only send emails out periodically pre-RV or pre-RI, but once the Dinar reinstitutes in country, emails may be going out as often as weekly. So again, we will be back next Wednesday. Uh, of course, if something of a dramatic nature were to happen between now and then, we'll try to get out an emergency email and schedule an emergency conference call. But failing that, we'll be back next Wednesday, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Thanks so much for listening, and have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.